Now we move to the discovery of a true North Texas native. If, if you're one, all due respect, <laughs> but this is a creature that once dominated the ocean that covered present day Texas. Yeah, listen, a hiker found the remains of a 30 foot prehistoric marine lizard just 80 miles from Dallas. And now, as CBS 11 photojournalist Mike Griffith shows us, the Perot Museum is putting all the pieces back together. Hear this. So I'm Dr. Ron Tykowski. I'm the curator of vertebrate paleontology and director of paleontology here at the Pro Museum of Nature and Science. And so a gentleman was hiking in an area and he spotted some bones that had eroded out and washed downstream. The Talosaurus was a mosasaur. This is a group of marine lizards, aquatic lizards. They dominated the world's oceans for almost 30 million years. So we have one here that looks to me like the ones we just dug up. The bones probably went to an individual 30 or more feet in length. So mosasaurs are actually lizards. They are not dinosaurs. And that's a big distinction to make. Not every big extinct reptile was a dinosaur. We got the, the green light to go out and get this thing. Brought our crews uh, from the museum out, also some other volunteers. And a few weeks out there and a lot of heat during the heat wave here in North Texas, uh, collecting these, uh, these bones. And we successfully got out a big pile of them. Most of the skull, uh, it looks like, and a, a bunch of the other bones of the skeleton. When something like this shows up and we get the permissions to get it, we do want to try to move pretty quickly because Mother Nature doesn't wait. Uh, all we needed was a good sized thunderstorm, a big gully washer, and who knows how much of that specimen would have washed out, been eroded out, potentially destroyed, potentially lost, carried away. We would have never found parts of it again. Pretty soon we'll be working on them here in these windows. People will be able to watch us work on them. Yeah, this is ready to come off. My job is to preserve scientific information in the form of three-dimensional objects, in the, in the form of specimens. There's scientific data, there's knowledge and information about the history of life on our planet preserved in all of these pieces. And my job is to make sure that this makes it into the scientific record. To inspire the public, you know, to amaze people and to tell the story of life on this planet, to tell the story of ancient life right here in North Texas. Homegrown history indeed. The museum tells us that come fall, they may actually go back to look for more remains, but they are keeping the exact location a secret. Am I wrong for feeling like I just had a little <laughs> dental work done? <laughs> just, just a little bit. Drill in there. <laughs>